the Function with Purpose podcast. All things health, wellness, fitness, and education through the physical therapy perspective. I am Dr. Amy Bullock, owner and founder of Fortress Physical Therapy. Fortress PT is here to serve the Charlotte metro area by highlighting the importance of how and why physical therapy should be a part of your health and wellness lifestyle. Here we go. Welcome to Season 8, Episode 6 of the Function with Purpose podcast. Thank you for joining in today. I greatly appreciate it wherever you are joining in from. I'm Dr. Amy, your host. Um, Just had some coffee. In fact, I got some coffee from my cousin. Um, He owns a coffee joint in Nashville, Tennessee called Madtown Coffee. And he gave me two samples of his newest light roasts. Um, I can't recall the names off the top of my head, but I aeropressed both of them this morning and they were quite lovely. Um, so thanks for joining in, um, while you sip on this coffee and listen to me talk. Um, all right, today's topic, we're kind of switching this around and gearing this more towards, uh, I guess, air quote, older population. And when I mean by older population, I mean, kind of individuals who are, um, you know, I guess on Medicare. When we think of Medicare, I always think of my mom and our grandparents and all that. So, yes, air quotes, older population. So, um, a topic that my best friend actually helped me come up with and that is uber important. All right, the aging timeline, it's all about balance and fall prevention. So, as a natural regression, I guess, um, without any intervention, the older, air quote, older population is at an increased fall risk. As the body ages, fall risk significantly increases without any intervention, i.e. physical therapy, exercise, even working on balance itself. So there's one thing I remember going through PT school. I'd have to find the stat on it. I don't know the percentage rate off the top of my head or anything, but... I do remember, and this is true because actually my grandfather experienced this. When an older person falls, it is typically when they are trying to sit down on a chair or like the edge of a bed. And either they hit the edge and they slip down or they miss the target. And they end up falling on their butt on the ground. When they fall, a high incident rate of hip fractures occur. And I remember when I first moved to Charlotte, my grandfather did this. He was sitting on the edge of the bed or he was in the process of sitting on the edge of the bed and like putting his sock on. He just like slipped off the edge and fell on his butt. Guess what? Broke his hip. So then he had to get um, a plate put in in his femur bone that creates the ball and socket. He didn't have to get a total hip replacement, but he had to um, get a plate put in to create stability again. So I vividly remember that going through physical therapy school when an older person, um, you know, typically 80s, um, when they fall, they are at a high risk for hip fracture. Um, and when someone sustains a hip fracture and, um, you know, perhaps they may have to go through surgery, um, that it creates that individual to be bedridden. They have to go through rehab and then perhaps outpatient physical therapy. And then what happens when they get home and they cease all of that? Well, they're not actively exercising, right? 
So it predisposes that individual for, I hate to say it, for their death date to occur a little bit earlier. So it's super important that as the body ages um, and as we become older adults that we need to continue to exercise. We need to continue to work on our balance and strengthening of the lower extremities and the arms. We have to train our heart. We have to get some daily walking in. We have to clean the house more often. Um, we have to perhaps maybe do some water aerobics, something that um, will get you moving every day, something that you can look forward to in order to prevent falls. Um, so I think one of the biggest things, and I'll, I'll use my mom for an example. So uh, back in like, like last summer, 2022, um, it was like, it was like from summer until winter or into like January, February of 2023. I'm like, mom, we got to get, we got to get to the gym. You got to get back to it. You were doing so good like a year ago before the pandemic happened. And like, you were feeling better. You were able to get up and off the floor and all this stuff. And, and I don't know, she just, she just like was not ready. She's like, it's cold out. I'm not going to go. And I'm like, that is not an excuse. Um, but she finally, in the spring of 2023, um, so like this past like March, she finally started going to the gym one time a week for like a month or two. Then it was twice a week. So she's been pretty consistent twice a week for the past like four or so months. Um, and she stands better. She's more strong. Um, she's more upright. Um, she cleaned the whole downstairs like two weeks ago and you know, obviously was exhausted, but then the next day, like, you know, she was sore, but, um, she didn't feel extreme fatigue, you know? So, um, I, I will say one thing with my mom in her particular case, her balance is not, not very good. Um, so I know that need to start incorporating or sneaking in some balance things, so I have to continue to pry on her to be like, okay, maybe when you're cooking breakfast and you're at the counter, like practice standing on one leg and then switch to the other. Um, try walking on a line, heel to toe, uh, walking on a line. So all these little things will eventually add up over time. Therefore, if anyone sustains a fall, they're able to get up and off the floor. And that is one thing that I think as a physical therapist in working with the geriatric population that we do not see enough of. Practicing falling, practicing falling to the ground with grace, and then knowing how to crawl over or utilize an object, a stable object, to help you stand back up. Because what happens, we see those commercials on TV you know, I remember uh, when my grandma, we bought her that lifeline, it, that lifeline tag, like dog tag that she would wear around her neck. And then if she would fall, oh, she would hit the button and it would reach out to 911 and the ambulance would come, right? Because she can't reach a phone if she falls in the middle of her bedroom. The phone is out in the kitchen. Like, she, that's like 300 feet away. Like, so... um so very important that as a healthcare provider and even as a coach, uh, perhaps at the CrossFit gym or uh, the boot camp um, studio, that if we have someone who walks in and they're of the air quote older population, um, that there needs to be some incorporation of uh fall prevention and balance within the exercise routine. And um, I think as a culture for physical therapists, especially, um, we just don't do a good job promoting that. Um, but I will call out a specific physical therapy group of people, and I'm not affiliated with them. Maybe I will be down the road. Um, ICE Physio. Um, 
the Institute of Clinical Excellence. And the guy that runs the modern management of the older, older adult, his name's Dr. Justin D Jones. I personally know him. I went to school with DJ um, in undergraduate school. And he is killing it out there. And um, as a physical therapist, if you work with um, the older adult population, I highly suggest looking up Dustin. So shout out to Dustin or DJ, as I call him and known him um, for, that he is killing it. And he is spreading the word that becoming old or age is not it does not mean weakness. So, um, so super important to incorporate balance and fall prevention, practicing getting up and off the floor, especially when you're in an exercise class, stress that to the coach, stress that to the trainer and say, Hey, listen, um, you know, maybe you're kind of in my shoe and, um, you know, my mom's doing pretty good in her interval training classes and we know we need to work on her balance. So I'm going to talk to the coach and be like, listen, we, we just need to incorporate some balance activities. So, um, you know, maybe that's trying to get her to kneel onto a soft step and then practicing getting up from that. Um, because all those little things carry over and they matter because if, a fall happens down a road to an older adult, most likely um, they will sustain some type of injury, very commonly a hip injury um, or perhaps a hip fracture, which then means possible surgery, which then means becoming bedridden, which then means trying to get them into rehab and they just don't want to do it. Or it was unsuccessful, which then means they're sent home, which then means they become stagnant. And then the ultimate unfortunate um, realization is, you know, death can occur sooner, right? So it's very important to exercise, um, get blood flow, walk, clean the house, all while incorporating balance and fall prevention routines. And it's up to us as healthcare providers to talk to our coaches that and trainers that we may be affiliate, affiliated with and closely related to, that we need to promote that even more. That's a wrap for today's episode, Function With Purpose podcast. For more information on this episode, please check out the show notes within your podcast app. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, or drop your comments and questions below. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Thanks for the listen. Pursuit, precision, purpose.